Alright, so we're back with the only game where you can evolve seemingly harmless potato-looking creatures into radioactive flesh-eating pickles. It's species. People ask me to describe species. It's like, um, I don't know. It It's like the cousin that you don't really want anyone to meet because he's derpy, but he's really good at cards or something. So you take him gambling every time you go and you come out with like a thousand dollars. So we have a plan today. This right here is what a sad, pathetic, harmless, vegetarian potato looks like. I want to basically make Deadpool. I want to make this creature into Deadpool. It's going to be a pizza eating, regenerating slaughter machine. And then I want to introduce it into like a bunch of hippie, peace loving, regular creatures and see if it takes over the world and kills everything. So species basically mimics your uh, best God experience that you can have. I guess it's the most realistic. How it works is you basically torture everything until it's about to die and then it mutates and becomes stronger. When I worded it like that, it sounded really bad. Actually, it sounded a lot like Deadpool and that, yeah, basically he got tortured and then he became amazing. So yeah, we're gonna unlock the hidden potential in these creatures by forcing them to almost die over and over and over again. So before we had done a lot of the mutations and stuff like that, I'm not doing that. I'm gonna let these creatures completely mutate on their own and see what we get when we force them to live on the surface of the sun. That's not really the surface of the sun. It's gonna be hot though. I'm gonna get this place like boiling with lava. Let's see how we do. Starting out with a good 240 some odd, sad, pathetic, non-aggressive looking creatures over here. But don't you worry. As soon as we start cranking up the temperature, everyone should start getting pretty angry in a little bit here. Oh, this one's exhausted. What were you doing recently? There's a lot of love symbols going on over here, so I don't know what sort of potentially demonetization-worthy sexual escapades are going on right now. I don't even know what kind of organs these creatures have. If you look at them, they're basically- they look kind of just like non-rigid cheese doodles, but like really stale ones without much color. When life gives you lemons, you make lemonade. When gray is your god, you ask for a new god. 46 degrees Celsius right now, uh, over in the wastelands. A little bit hotter, I think. We need to start getting the lava showing on the board here before we can start the appropriate levels of torture. Ah, uh, now all the creatures are starting to suffer and die. How you feeling there, buddy? Dying? Mm, yep. I expect to see this status quite a bit. So what you do is right when peep people that, that sounds bad. Okay, right when non-humanoid creatures start getting very close to extinction, this is where you help them out a little bit. So this is like injecting uh, Deadpool with some oxygen. We're gonna go ahead and hit him with some food. And that'll pump them back up like this. And see, what happens is right when they get to the point where they feel like they're gonna die, they start to mutate. It's an interesting evolution of creatures. Burning alive, are you? Mm, just as I had expected. This is the appropriate effect that I'd like to see right now. Everyone's on fire. The ground is starting to smolder. It's 51 degrees Celsius up here in the mountains. 55 degrees Celsius over here in the wasteland. How y'all doing over here? I'm content. It's not hot enough then. Let's pump it up some more. I feel like there's a fortune cookie or something somewhere that says like, I don't know, you, you have to get your ass kicked in order to be the best, to come out stronger, to get regeneration and stuff like that. Seems like a thing. We now have a biome called lava. It's just called lava. Now we're starting to get where I want to be at. I like that this is called beach when there's no water because we evaporated it all. Okay, we just got our first mutation. All right, so here we have the sad, the sad original pickle. What's, what's the secondary pickle look like? Ah, it's a pickle with a jutting jawline. Now the idea here is as we slowly burn away all of the foliage, these creatures are going to starve more and more and they're going to turn to cancer. Cannibalism, which will allow us to make carnivores. Making carnivores in this game is like ridiculously difficult to do sometimes. Hold on. Wait a second. Horny? <laughs> How do you guys have time for this? Okay, so now we have the pickle with a tail. We have the pickle with like a, I don't know, like a wicked grimace on its face. This kind of looks like the jutting draw, uh, the jutting jaw pickle, only its jaw is slightly less jutting. Oh, it's starting to look like a little demon. 
This is what we want. What are your powers, creature? How good are you at things? Oh, it's an omnivore and it's broken skin. Uh, sure. The lava biome is starting to take over the rest of the area, which is perfect. This is what we want. You can't, you can't get these creatures into the lava right away. You gotta ease them in there. Oh, see this? More mutations are happening right now as everyone's broiling to death. This is interesting. Everyone has clustered together into this little cohesive unit. I don't know why. It's like one little area where everyone, is this like the coolest area? It's probably because it's the coolest area. The closer everyone gets to death, the more they mutate and create new species. You're gonna see down here, like all the mutations and all the extinctions and stuff like that as everyone slowly cooks and has crazy sexual tendencies and stuff like that. We're starting to, they're starting to get legs. I, I'm hoping those are... I'm hoping those are legs. None of these creatures have got to love me very much at this point. They've all got to be wondering what any of this is for. Okay, I got them almost dead, and we just had several more species come into light. There's almost nowhere left to survive now. I've turned the entire area into lava. This is planned. We need this. Everyone needs to slowly bake to become the most powerful versions of themselves. All right, so this is what we're looking at now. I don't know what to call that. Kind of looks like a really, really beached, overstuffed, extremely gluttonous seal. This is just a seal that's been skipping leg day. It's a striped bacon piece. Oh yeah. Oh, look at this being right here. Now we're getting there, man. Now we're starting to get some real freaks. We're moving, this one's a herbivore, but this one's starting to move toward being a carnivore, which is what we want over time to get lukewarm blooded. What the hell? Lukewarm blooded compared to cold blooded. It's interesting that they're getting like cucumber patterns on them. So now I guess instead of being mutated pickles, they're mutated cucumbers. I'm gonna keep burning these guys for a while. They're getting more powerful. Ignores temperature. Fantastic. <laughs> We've killed off the herbivores. All that's left is omnivores now. Fantastic. So they're getting more and more angry and more powerful. Their hatred toward us will be useful when we introduce them into normal society. Okay, they've learned to flourish. And by flourish, I mean not immediately die in this atmosphere, which means it's finally time to crank it up as high as it'll go. There we go. The entire land is now covered in lava, which is exactly what we wanted. We have to let these creatures embrace the dark side. This is just a bunch of Sith. That's what we're creating right now. So this is the freak show right now to give you an idea of how much things have mutated at this point. Remember what they originally looked like? What is this? What? Where have we gotten to at this point? This hideous, Grotesque being. This is what will take over the world. At least that's my hope. There's still a lot of herbivores around, so we're trying to kill them all and make something here into a carnivore. Okay, everyone ignores temperature now. We've got them to the point where they can survive on lava. So I can start bringing back a little bit of, uh, like, area here. Like, non-lava. Alright, you can actually see... The lava's starting to cool in places, <laughs> almost getting everyone killed. And then they spawn a whole bunch more species, which is what we want. Look, everyone, the apocalypse has ended. Gray now allows his loving creatures to begin wandering around the world. Although they don't know that realistically, I've just bred them to be gladiators. Just thought I'd take you guys with me for a little stroll so we can take a look at all the beautiful creatures of this planet. And by beautiful creatures, I mean derpy space whales. All right, we're up to 13 species. Let's take a look at what we're dealing with right now. I want to see what some of these things look like. Sure. Okay. Finally, we've got our very first carnivore. All right, who is it? Who's the, who's the glorious being to pick you up? Oh God. This is what our first carnivore looks like. Uh, it looks like a narwhal or something. <laughs> Look at the giant, is that a tail or is that it's like spear-like nostrils? I don't even know where its mouth would be. I don't know, it's narcoleptic, but it's super aggressive, I guess. We're coming into generation 60 of our creatures. I'm gonna save this guy just in case. Oh yeah, we got quite a few carnivores starting to, starting to pop up in here. Fantastic. 
This is our other carnivore. It just looks like a cancerous, like, squash or something. It's the- oh, it's horny. What are you gonna do with this creature? Oh, you're just gonna sleep right next to it. Oh, that makes sense. Holy crap, this thing just had a lot of children. I don't know what happened. Its mate died immediately. And this is all of its kids. Aren't they beautiful? A bunch of sick, gigantic carnivores. Look at them moving in. Like torpedo-like summer sausages. Okay, some of these guys are getting hardcore carnivore now. Yes, they're all starting to eat each other. The slaughter has begun. Fantastic. Who will be left alive? Keep killing each other. Who is the strongest of you all? Okay, there is some real weird stuff starting to appear. Now, what the hell is this? Hold on, I gotta pick this thing up. Not you, I don't care about you. Can I, can I, no, not you either, I don't want you. Ye no, not you, what the? It's like a freaking beholder out of Dungeons and Dragons. Actually, it looks more like a submarine. All right, we're gonna take one of our carnivores here and save it. We're gonna name you, uh, Bruno Mars. Here we go. Oh yeah, almost everything is carnivorous now. So they're pretty powerful. They ignore temperatures. They're dangerous when cornered. They've got large stomachs, complex, I don't know what the hell the complex growth cost means. Now we need to put it up against some of the weaker creatures and see if it will own them spectacularly. All right, now we're gonna make a little paradise here and we're gonna put some of the regular creatures up against our powerful ultra lava dwelling satanic doomsday creature. Look at this. It's a beautiful world. Look at it compared to where we were before. Lush trees, blue water, all the foliage and coral and trees and everyone, all these animals over here are happy and there's like melons and chunks and edible meat sticks and stuff. More than that though, all of these tiny little creatures are living in harmony for now. But now it's time to import in. Bruno Mars. We're gonna import, I don't know. Uh, we'll import like, well, let's just import one and see what one single Bruno Mars does. Here we go. All right, we're gonna set Bruno Mars down right here and uh, see if he goes to town on anyone. You gonna make some music? And by music, I mean you're gonna make everything around you scream in pain? Bruno Mars right now is looking for sweet love. <laughs> Seems like something Bruno Mars would do. Look at this tiny, I think that's its mouth. What his tiny mouth this thing has. He's looking though, man, he's on the hunt. I don't know what he wants. I don't even know if he can breed with any of these things. Yeah, this is his neck. Every once in a while it, you know, kind of moves into his body. Why are you dying, Bruno? There's plenty of food all around you. All you have to do is reach out and take it. And by take it, I mean slaughter it and eat its meat. Bruno Mars has for some reason grown to an enormous size. I don't really know why this happened. It just suddenly got even bigger. Maybe it's getting older. All right, Bruno Mars isn't eating. He needs a he needs a mate. I guess I'll we'll import one other creature in here for him. Bruno Mars Mark II. Here you go. Oh no. Oh, the attraction has begun. Double the Bruno Mars. Double the fun. Yep, they're doing it right now. Oh, what sort of weird congealed thing has happened? It's content. <laughs> now they're just dying. Oh god. Bruno Mars just spawned a Bruno Marslet. The Bruno Marses have begun to spawn multiple instances of themselves. The Bruno Marses are taking over. They're different colors now as well. There's all kinds of different colors. They have completely taken over this little area. Anyone that gets close is immediately slain. The question is, will they, what the hell is this? The question is, will they begin to take over the rest of the map? Oh my God. The Bruno Marses are murdering each other. They started to take over this side of the map, and now they're just slaughtering one another. Oh, the Bruno Mars has just, like, got a lot bigger. I don't know what happened. They all just, they all just decided to birth or grow at exactly the same time. It's so weird. They're not really destroying the weak, pathetic creatures. They're destroying each other. I bred Bruno Mars to do one thing to kill everything that wasn't Bruno Mars. But all Bruno Mars does is sleep and have sex with other Bruno Mars. Okay, never mind. Sometimes Bruno Mars gets pissed off and destroys things that are not Bruno Mars. That's what I've been waiting for. God, what have you guys been doing this whole time? Get up in there and start killing everything. Wow, Bruno Mars came in and destroyed the entire ecosystem. Not really because it was attacking everything. Well, it was kind of. 
but mostly just because it tries to breed with everything. This is what I trained it to do. I guess now that I look back on all the torture sessions, that's really all it was doing, was trying to breed the next generation and trying to find food. So in the end, this giant disappointment is my own fault. Well, it did do what it was supposed to do. It, it's basically going to, Bruno Mars is going to end the world. He is going to take over everything and destroy all the rest of the species. Just not quite the way I thought he would. Everyone say hello to the face of a wild, br oh, his face went away. Anyway, that's our pack of Bruno Marses. Guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode of Species. I'm not really sure what we accomplished. I made a genocidal maniac creature. It just kind of, it didn't have a lot of life goals, I guess was the problem. Anyway, folks, until next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>